Prepare to pay the price when your programmer steals. This is episode number 330 of the My Online Toolbox Weekly Quick Tips and Reminders in all facets of marketing to help you grow your business with more quality leads, amplifying more quality. Last week, we were talking about where do you service and learn how to be found by the search engines to help you generate leads in that applicable territory. Week before that, we were talking about how you could look at your competitors' websites see that they stink and wonder how do they still generate so much business. Check out that episode. But this week, we're talking about preparing to pay the price when your programmer steals. And what do we mean by that? We're talking about utilizing other people's content, predominantly images, to help represent that it's yours. And right there, we want to make people be aware there's two separate issues to prepare for to pay the price. The first is your branding. There are way too many people simply saying, hey, I, I'm going to do this type of remodeling or this type of home building, and they have nothing to show what they're capable of doing. So they hire a programmer and they create what we'd like to call an inspirational website. The problem is that inspiration is utilizing the work of other people. So while you're attracting activity to your company, utilizing other people's work. Remember, we still really know what you're capable of doing. So wouldn't you consider that to be a little bit misleading? That is the area when it comes to branding where people don't have any content, so they're using other people's content in order to generate activity. We're against it here at My Online Toolbox for 99% of the time, and we, we're not gonna deviate on that 1% that we're not against it, but the majority of the time, too many people like to create a website that represents stuff that they have not done before. That's a separate issue. Here's the bigger one. The bigger one is when the programmers are either just cutting and pasting online or they're not even checking whether that content has been licensed to your business. And keep in mind, there is a lot of simplistic ways to see where is your content coming from? And all you need to do is quickly Google the penalties that could be associated with somebody when it comes to copyright infringement. And you could bet the programmer is going to be long gone when those pieces of paper come showing that your company, not what they did, your company is promoting illegal, legally copied images that somebody else won, did not want to be utilized on the web, or two, was looking to be paid. Sometimes programmers will go to a service let's, such as iStockphoto as one, but there's many, and license it for their company. And then they take that singular image and use it over and over and over again with many other clients. That is not the same for your company. You need to make sure that if the images are going to be used, and whether it's 10, 15, 20, whatever the number of images, just pay the price to have it licensed to your company because all you need to do is get a letter. And most of the time, people will give the equivalent of a cease and desist where they're going to ask you if they decide to reach out to you to remove it from their site. But if somebody has a lawyer who's a little bit aggressive, I'll use that terminology, they can demand and get monetary damages because they'll be able to prove that you grew your business from day one to day whatever, utilizing their imagery. And right there, you don't want to get stuck in that. What started this presentation today is that just recently, somebody called us up to say that they would like to discuss uh, a marketing plan, and we listened to them for a moment. They then said, hey, we also want to make sure that um, we could go against this particular competitor. We asked for the website address, and we were shocked because the content on the competitor's website happened to come from another customer of My Online Toolbox, and not only was the imagery copied from our customer, the wording that my online toolbox created to support that imagery was done specifically by me. And 
that story is what stimulated it because we reached out to the remodeler, the competitive remodeler. Uh, we were met with a little bit of agitation and arrogance. And then we told them, we don't care about your attitude. We're sending you a note and we're giving you an extremely short amount of time to rectify the problem. And lo and behold, they never spoke to us again, but they did respond to the email and their entire website was ripped apart in the short amount of time. And it was just a coincidence, but my point was it stimulated us that our strength was knowing that it was our content and knowing it was my specific story around that content. So it caught me off guard, but then it realized that I've been noticing a lot of websites out there that people have these, you know, websites that could be done in 30 days and 45 days. And then you look at them and they're absolutely beautiful. But when you look at the images and then go behind the scenes with Google search, you're able to quickly see that the same image is being used over and over and over again. And there are times that we see that those images are licensable. We don't know if people paid for the license or not. And then there's other times that the, light, the images are simply just being copied. So we can call it any way, word you want. But depending on who's going to make a phone call to your company, if you're using somebody else's images, they may just blatantly say you're stealing them because of a copyright infringement and the time to take to fix the problem, let alone if you get someone who is monetarily uh, seeking damages, you're going to have a problem. And trust me, that face that you see with this programmer here going, but I didn't understand. It's going to come back at the wrong time. And you could bet that programmer is not going to look to pay a part of the penalty and will be long gone. Please keep that into mind. Make sure they're your images or make sure that they're licensed images. Protect your brand anyway. So initially, don't just worrying about copying other people's work. Try to get your own work photographer uh, to be photoed in order to build your brand that way. And the rumor is true. The advanced class is finally being uh, the revised advanced class is being released within weeks. That's why we're going so quick here because we're trying to get away from this weekly quick tip as fast as possible. But we wanted to say as a reminder, please like us and follow us on Facebook and YouTube for the weekly quick tips. Keep following us on Instagram for the weekly featured projects and never forget to start planning yesterday for next year's marketing and profits. Have a healthy week. Stay legal and we'll see you soon.